All right, everybody, I'm going to go over here and uh, go over single arbitrary. And some of you had some different values than you should have. And so, first of all, um, I'm going to look here, and these are the values that uh, I just wanted to make sure that you have the correct arrival rate, service rate, and standard deviation of service times probabilities that are set correctly uh, for each of those like the uh, number of cust there are no customers in the system etc and the waiting cost per unit I gave you that as a very as a constant uh, and then assume that you want to uh, obtain a total cost per period of 299 some of you had a different value than what I've got here so I'm I'm gonna I'm going to have to check yours and see. I'm not quite sure how you got that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. And I'll post the, uh, this is from the key, but this is hidden from me right now. But I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, remember now that the service cost, the total cost per time period equals B24, okay, uh, and B24 is going to be the waiting cost per period times C16, which is the average number of customers in the system, plus B25, okay? So that's how we get the figures. You can see each of them as they've gone, uh, as uh, Excel shown us. So it's going to be uh, B24 times C16 plus B25. Okay? And that's our total cost per period. Now, and that's to obtain. Now, I, I'll watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put it. I'm just going to delete that. All right? And uh, now we have the total cost per period of uh, $2.10. I notice that equals 116, okay? Uh, pardon me, it equals uh, B24, which is 116 times C16 plus B25. So I haven't put in a service cost Per channel yet but I want to assume I want to obtain a total cost per period so I'm gonna I ask you to use goal six I'm gonna click on data and uh, we'll go over here I'll click data analysis seven I was a little surprised when I saw some of you with some different values those two dollars and ten cents, and that's C27, and I'm going to set it. I want it to set it. I want to set it to two point nine nine, and I'm using Goal Seek, and I'm going to do it by changing the service cost per channel. That's probably where in the instructions here that I didn't uh, I didn't give you. I say yeah, use Goal Seek to yeah. I told you to obtain the service cost per channel. So let's run through this again, okay? Um, I set the cell at uh, C27, that's the goal. And I set it to two, 2.99, $2.99 by changing cell B25, which is the service cost per channel, here we go. And you should have had 0 0.89. Some of you had uh, more digits than that, but rounded up to 0 .89. So if you didn't have that, you didn't do it correctly. Uh, and I'm going to have to take a look at your files and see what in the world happened to you. But that's what you should have had. So um, some of you had a different value, and I'm not quite certain how you got there. I'm going to go back and look at your files and see. But that is indeed the correct answer. What you have to do is start with a zero for the uh, service cost per channel. You got to clear it out. Now you say, well, what if I had something else in there? Okay, um, let's do that. All right, let's put the service cost per channel 
Uh, let's say instead of uh, 0.89, let's put 0.70. Okay, and you'll you'll see it happen is the total cost for time period equals two dollars and eighty cents. So we're not there yet, but I'm going to go ahead and run the goal seat. And I'm going to set cell C27 to 2.99 by changing this value, the service cost per channel, that is in B25, and let's run it. And there we are. So the service cost per channel should be 0.89. If you've got something different, I'm going to look at your file, but uh, you've got something wrong, and I'll, have, and I'll check up in here to see if you have the arrival rates, service rates, and the operating, correct, operating characteristics correctly. All right, folks, that'll do it, and I'm going to stop this here recording.